Hello, welcome to Capture One in One Minute, where we explore one feature of Capture One to make your workflow better and easier. Today, we are taking a look at Export Summary. This is a tool that has no options inside of it, literally nothing that you can do. So why might it be useful? I actually think this does have value, and I want to explore how I use it in my workflow. So Export Summary just says, given the recipe that you have chosen, this is going to be the output. And it's pretty simple stuff. What is the recipe we have chosen? Mine's called SRGB Web, which is a small sized image specifically for going online. The file name that will be created, uh, and that file name, as we know, is being created by our naming structure what size it is in pixels, what scale we have selected, the ICC profile, in this case, it's set for an Adobe RGB rather than an sRGB, uh, what format it's going to be in, the quality 10 means 10% size, this is a very small size. So if I take a look at uh, the export format, it's set to 10 right there, that's where that number comes from, and that means the file size is going to be about three megabytes. Now, why is this really useful? Because we tend to export things using the same set of options over and over and over again. But what if we have changed something? For instance, I recently had to export some versions of images smaller than I normally do for a web-based process. I oftentimes export my web stuff at about 25%, not 10. So here's one way that Export Summary might be useful. It is placed by default near the end of your Recipe Tool tab, but I don't think that's actually a very good place. I think it should go basically second or first. Here is why. If I export things in pretty much the same way over and over and over again, I might collapse all of these and not look at them. In fact, I might even assume I'm using the exact same export recipe from the time before but what if I'm wrong? Or what if I've changed something I didn't mean to? For instance, if I thought that I was selected to a larger output size, or I forgot to change my name from my naming structure, then just looking at the export summary really fast would tell me, is this what I want or is it not? So moving it up and making sure that it's open actually gets you to look at it. This is a web size, it's about three megabytes. Oh, wait a minute, I wanted this to be a full size. This is supposed to be printed as a 20 by 30 poster. I'm in the wrong recipe. Or perhaps I forgot to change my file name and it's set to something totally different than what I actually want. And so I would need to change this. Leaving export summary opened and having it just be my reference point at the beginning tells me if I need to come into these further things and alter what they are. Anyway, that is the way that I use Export Summary. I recommend moving it up in your uh, Export Tool tab and just using it as a quick reference. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.